the new project. This side is nothing. It does nothing except adding weight at this point, but it could work. This side, the magnets are staying in one spot. I have the north pointing up. This one I have the north pointing down. These are the, the diametric magnets. These are weights inside to try to balance this thing. You can see it's all gimped. It's not the roundest thing. Crude but functional. It's a 3 8 shaft going through the middle. Crude, very crude. These are for storm doors. Got the wheels up at Home Depot. The bearings, storm doors right on them, or sliding doors, wood. This is aluminum, aluminum shaft. I can't remember whose design this is. Always wanted to try this because it looks like it would work, and apparently it does. It's hooking the other mechanisms up. This is crude, but it allows me to get the magnet close enough. without actually hitting. As you can see, that field really reaches out. Uh -huh. That's a pretty good distance from there. pretty close distance you got all of this it can be made a lot closer this about an inch or two just sliding it but the timing has to be pretty much right on you can feel the pressure from the field in here it's a smooth pressure and if you just keep it in that range one here well that was also a diametric this one here this is a big one incher those are three quarter inch I can do the same with this one you get a lot more kick out of it
can either slide them done right what you gotta have you get you a wooden cylinder you get a wooden cylinder around it with tubes for each one of these probably on aluminum rods and get these things let's see well anyway like pistons They would operate like pistons. They would just move along. They would bang, bang, like pop back. See? That's staying in one spot, and all I'm doing is elevating it, and it's like right in between the two circles, a spiral. Uh -huh. This, 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 there. This is your starting point, right here. Yeah, the big one will operate right in the middle in here just to go up and down. It doesn't have to be moved or anything. Now, the small one will probably do the same thing. But like I was saying with the small one, if you had cylinders above this and spun this, it would run in like this, snap back in due time, come back, follow it, snap back. And then you would have your other side here, which could be north up, so north down, I guess it wouldn't much matter, doing the same thing over here. It would be, as this is turning, this would be going, so you'd have this, this, this. You could have one, two, three, four, five, six cylinders, whatever, around there, all doing the same thing. It doesn't have much pull once this thing gets moving and you're caught there seems to be a field a solid field in here if, if you get out of sync it'll start bouncing and you can feel it but if you hit if you get it just right it's, it feels like a smooth field that you're with a slight push on it it's, it's pushing it away but it's also pulling it it doesn't take much energy or much exertion at all. It's not like it's trying to slam it down on there and there's a lot of force. It's, it's a very smooth feeling when it starts moving in time. You can feel it. If you stay in that pressure, you'll feel the pressure on it in the field. And you have to stay in that area. And it will accelerate. You get a bit out either way or another you'll lose the uh, you'll lose the synchronization but there's ways of doing that this system does work this is the first one I've actually got that actually works another thing what I can do is decrease this pattern I could have it out to here but instead I'd have a smoother transition so I have it here, here, you can transition it out to here, and maybe from here, no you can't, yeah, there it is, here, I guess you could, 
I don't know how you uh, hold it. These things don't want to sit here. This is north and south back to back. So that's why that's actually staying. These are north and south. So that's why they're not interacting too much with each other. But yeah, they do want to twist. Being next to each other like this, they do want to twist. Put their poles in alignment. But yeah, if you had a smoother transition, a bigger wheel, I guess you could transition it depending on the size of your mags. Now these are diametric mags. These aren't pulled. The poles aren't out here. These poles are in the center. So I have the north facing up. But this is the first one I've actually seen the system that would work.